Hello and welcome to my Home Tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss drawing the line of best fit of a straight line and then find the equations of the line. We will also discuss finding the equations of the best fit line by using the Casio FX570EX class which calculator. This is a video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Linear law refers to a mathematical relationship that describes a straight line relationship between two variables. It is written as y equal to mx plus c, where y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable, m is the gradient of the line, and c is the y-intercept. The gradient represents the rate of change between x and y, and the y-intercept represents the values of y when x equal to zero. Linear laws are often used to model real-world situations where a change in one quantity results in a proportional change in another. In this video, we are going to learn how to plot the graph and draw a line of best fit on the graph. When plotting a graph, a straight line graph can be drawn when the values of the variables of a linear relationship are supplied. However, if the variable's values are obtained experimentally or by observation, inaccuracies may occur. As a result, not all of the plotted points are exactly on a straight line. In this case, we must draw a line of bass fit. Characteristics of the bass fit lines are, first, the straight line passes through as many points as possible, and second, there are an equal or nearly equal numbers of points on both sides of the straight line for points that do not lie on the straight line. For example, in this case, the straight line passes through four points. There are two points above the line and two points below the line. Hence, this line is considered a line of best fit. In order to plot a graph, the very first thing is to determine the scale of the horizontals and vertical axes. To determine the scale, first we need to find the maximum and minimum values of the points on the graph. Let's see this example. You may think that the minimum values of the x coordinate is 2 and the maximum value is 12. However, this is not true. We need to take note that in order to find the equation of the line, we need to know the y intercept. At the y intercept, the x coordinate is equal to 0. Therefore, if we include the y-intercept, the minimum values of the x-coordinate is 0, but not 2. Now, let's determine the scale of the horizontal axis. The minimum and maximum values of x is 0 and 12, respectively. Hence, the range is 12 minus 0, which is 12. The graph used in SVM usually is 20 times 24, which means there are 20 units at the horizontal axis. 12 divided by 20 units, each unit equal to 0 0.6. However, 0 0.6 is not a suitable scale. The suitable scale are 1, 2, or 5, and the 10 multiples of them, such as 10, 20, 50, or 100, 200, 500, or 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. In this case, we must choose a suitable scale slightly greater than 0 0.6, Obviously, it is 1. Therefore, the horizontal scale is 1cm to 1 or 2cm to 2. Uh, this is the horizontal scale. We can see that uh, the scale is 2cm to 2 unit. Now, let's continue with the vertical scale. The minimum values of y is negative 6.9. What is the maximum value? We have learned that we need to include the y-intercept in our graph from the trend of the data, the y-intercept should be higher than 11.4, which means it will be the maximum values of y. In order to estimate the y-intercept, we can make use of the functions in the Casio FX570EX calculator. In order to estimate the y-intercept, let's go to the statistics mode. Okay. Yeah, here is the statistic mode equal. Okay, now we can see there's a list of correlations. Uh, we are dealing with straight line graph, therefore we choose two. This is the equation of a straight line. Okay, now they give us a table to key in the x and y values of the point. Uh, to estimate the y-intercept, we just need to key in 
the values of two point. Later, we are going to use these functions to verify our answer for the equations of the lines of best fit. But now we just want to estimate the y-intercept. Therefore, we don't need to insert all the points. We just need two points to estimate the y-intercept. Let's choose the first and the last point. Uh, the first point, the x value is 2. And the last point, the x values is 12. And the y values of the first points is 11.4. 11 11.4. .4, 11 .4. And the y value for the last point is negative 6.9. Negative 6.9 equal. Now after that, let's go to these options. And from here, we can see that option number four is regressions calculations. So let's choose number four. Here, they give us the equations of the straight line, y equals to a plus bx. And from the equations, we know that b is the gradient and a is the y-intercept. And from the calculator, we can see that uh, the y-intercept is around 15. So the y-intercept is 15. Okay, so let's write here 15. That's how we estimate the y-intercept of a straight lines by using the Casio FX570EX calculator. Now we have the maximum and minimum values of y. Therefore, the range is 15 minus negative 6.9, which is equal to 21.9. Just now we learned that there are 24 units for the vertical axis. Therefore, each unit equal to 21.9 divided by 24 equal to 0 0.9125, approximate to 1. Therefore, the vertical scale is 1 cm to 1 or 2 cm to 2. The lowest value is negative 6.9. Let's start with negative 8, followed by negative 6, and so on. Let's bring in the x-axis. Now we have the two axes ready with suitable scale. Now we can start plotting the graph. The first point is 211.4. Now we don't need to plot this graph because this is the estimations of the y-intercept. So we start with this point, 211.4. So 211.4, somewhere around here. And then 47.5, 47.5. Six, four point five, six, four point five, eight, zero point five, eight, zero point five, ten, negative two point eight, ten, negative two point eight, and then twelve, negative six point nine, twelve, negative six point nine, somewhere around here. So now we have all the points that we need to plot the graph. After plotting all the points, then we can start drawing the lines of best fit. So let's draw the lines. Remember that the lines of best fit should pass through most of the point and then have equal numbers of points above and below the line. For example, we can see that this line passes through four points and has one point above the line and one point below the line. So therefore, this should be a lines of best fit. Now we can find the equations of the lines of best fit. Uh, the equations y equals to mx plus c. In order to write the equations, we need to have the y-intercept and the gradient. And from the graph, we can see that the y-intercept is around 14.5. Therefore, the equation is y equals to uh, gradient x plus 14.5. To find the gradient, let's draw a big triangle in the graph. The height of the triangle is 11.2 minus negative 6.4, which is equal to 17.6. And the width of the triangle is 12 minus 2 equal to 10. The gradient of the graph is equal to the height, uh, which is 17.6.
and then divided by the width of the triangle, which is 10. And uh, we can see that the gradient is negative. So let's put a negative here. And this is equal to uh, 1.76. So the gradient is 1.76, uh, negative 1.76. Therefore, the equations of the straight line is negative 1.76x plus 14.5. Now let's verify our answer by using the Casio FX570EX calculators. And to verify the answer, let's go to the statistic mode. Statistic, okay, statistic. And then uh, choose number two, uh, equations of straight line. And then let's key in all the points that we have, excluding the first one, because this is the estimations for the uh, y-intercept. Okay, uh, the first, x values is 2, so 2, and then followed by 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Okay, and for the y values of y, the first one is 11.4, 11 11.4, 11.5, 7 7.5, followed by 4.5, and then 0.5, negative 2.8 and the last one negative 6.9 equal and then go to option and select regressions for okay so this is the answer and we, you can see that the gradient is equals to negative 1.8 which is very close to our answer and the y-intercept is 15 which is also close to our answer, which means these equations of the line of best fit is correct.